There are a ton of options when choosing a clamp, but how do you know which clamp is right for your application? In this video, we'll find out what you need to know before choosing a clamp. My name is Ben, and this is the Lifting and Rigging Channel. Today, we're in Rockford, Illinois at Caldwell Lifting Solution headquarters to find out everything that you need to know before choosing a clamp. Engineering manager Dale Kelly sat down with us to explain what the options are when choosing a clamp for your lift. So, let's get into it. One day when I first started with the J.C. Renfro Company as a young engineer, I was standing in the shop and I was watching a plate fly through the air. The only thing that was holding the plate was a little tiny clamp, no bigger than the size of my hand. And this was obviously a heavy plate. And I was standing with my new boss at the time and I was looking at the plate and I said, wow, looks like the plate is just like a magic carpet and flying. Out of that came lifting as magic. Magic stands for metal, attitude, jaw opening, environment, and confirmation. Lifting is magic. This is the abbreviation we like to use so that the customer remembers the important details necessary to choose a clamp. M stands for the metal. And the reason that's important is if it's above 300 Brunel, which is the hardness of the metal, it's measured on a machine and, or on the certification that comes with the metal, the teeth can't penetrate into the steel allowing the clamp to do its job. We have special clamps that are designed for plates above 300. They're called the non-marring series. They have a smooth jaw and a higher grip ratio that can grip the plate without slipping. Another application that's good for the non-marring clamp is the fact that if it has smooth jaws, it will not leave a mark on your plate. Therefore, it can be used on softer materials as well and plates that are sensitive to machining marks or teeth where you need a polished surface. If the metal is below 300 Brunel, any one of these clamps can be used. They have teeth on them that must remain sharp and the properly sized clamp will grip the plate, penetrate the steel and allow it to lift and do the job that needs to be done. The next letter in the abbreviation is the letter A. It stands for attitude. And what we're referring to is how does the customer want to lift his plate? Does he want to lift it vertically? Does he want to lift it and turn it? Or does he want to flip it over or some other type of orientation? If you want to lift it vertically, the FR is a good choice. It's a vertical only lifting clamp meant to lift a plate on edge straight up and down. Next style of clamp is called the Vertical Plus 90. This is our model TL. It's rated to turn a plate from flat to 90 degrees and back through the same angle. It has a locking lever on it that maintains constant pressure on the plate so that the teeth can always penetrate during no load conditions, such as when the plate is standing straight up and resting on the ground. We also have clamps that can flip plates completely over. They have a pivoting jaw. They also have a lock and they have an additional lock. This lock is a good safety item so that when you're flipping a plate completely over, if you happen to hit an obstruction, it won't come unlock and disengage from the plate. This one also has a pivoting shackle. This is the model JPA. For plates that are lifted in a flat manner, this way, where they're lifting straight up and straight down, we have horizontal clamps. You use these in pairs. They are for lifting a plate in a flat manner, straight up and straight down, and for transport through the shops. It does not turn and there's no side loading allowed. Finally, the one I'd like to illustrate is called our SEPA. This is a clamp rated to turn 180 degrees. It has a pivoting shackle, so you can use it in pairs from a central hoist. But the robustness of this clamp is good for high vibration environments. And that's where our clamps start to break down and become more specialized as we go throughout the product line. 
These are just a few of the clamps we manufacture. If you don't see one that suits your applications, we make many, many more. So when speaking with your sales rep, provide him with the information as your intent on how you need the plate moved. The next letter in magic, the J, represents the jaw opening. All our clamps are identified and have the jaw opening on the label, and you must follow that. Just because the plate will fit doesn't necessarily mean it's the appropriate clamp for that thickness. And the reason that is, is because once the teeth penetrate, they can upset the metal and now the plate gets thicker and your plate could get stuck in the jaw and the clamp will not release it. So always follow the recommended jaw range that's listed on the tag for each individual clamp. The next important item you need to discuss is the environment you intend on using the clamp in. Chemical conditions, sand conditions, hot and cold can affect the usability of the clamp. All of the Renfro standard clamps have a temperature range of zero to 200 degrees. If the range of the clamp exceeds zero to 200 and it becomes too cold, the metal of the clamp can embrittle and cause the clamp to fail. If it's too hot, then it can damage the teeth and cause them to melt or lose their hardness and cause it to fail. If the temperature range is beyond the zero to 200, call your factory. Tell him your desires to use a clamp in a, an environment that's outside that range. Let him choose the appropriate clamp for the job. We also have hot lift clamps that are capable up to 1,000 degrees. Certain clamps shouldn't be used in a sandblasting environment, such as our screw clamp. Obviously, the sand can get stuck and can mess the threads up. Acid and alkalines can also attack the teeth and cause them to dull out. We offer special materials that can withstand the caustic environments of the acids and give you better life. Finally, let's talk about C for a moment. Confirmation. To confirm that you chose the right clamp for the job, you wanna check your witness marks. First, put your safety glasses on and any appropriate PPE that you need to use. You're gonna inspect your clamp, make sure everything's in operation and all your tags are legible. You wanna do a trial lift and you're gonna inspect the witness mark, which is the marks left after a load has been applied to your clamp. You install your clamp. Put it on at approximately a 20 degree angle and lock it down. Then you'll raise the clamp up, leaving a quarter inch gap between the edge of the plate and the top of the jaw of the clamp. Then you're gonna hook your clamp to your hoist. and apply just enough load to lift the plate off the floor. Return the load to the ground. You want to remove the clamp from the hoist. Remove the clamp from the plate and inspect your witness parts. If you feel a penetration and you can feel an indentation, a clamp is suitable for that application. Sometimes a clamp is not the right application. For instance, diamond plate, coated plates. Clamps are not suitable for this application. In fact, they can be a hazard. We recommend that the plates be clean and no coatings so that the clamp can get proper engagement. A good application for any Renfro clamp is a clean metal plate of proper hardness that's a flat surface. Many of our clamps are used in the shipyards and boat building. This is a good application, for instance. It saves time, they're efficient, and safe. If you want more information, then you can contact Caldwell or Mozilla's Lifting and Rigging Division. The links are in the description below. If you think we missed something, or you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments and Dale and I will find you an answer. I hope after watching this video, you feel confident that you have the information needed before choosing a clamp. If you found this video useful, informative, entertaining, or you just feel like being friendly, then hit that like button so we can get this information out to everyone who needs it. Subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss a video. My name is Ben. 
and I'll see you in the next one.